Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how to color grade iPhone Apple Log footage directly on the iPhone using LumaFusion, which I think is by far the best video editing software for the iPhone. Let's get started. So these are the clips that I'm going to color grade today. This is clip number one, clip number two, three, and then four. Let's start with this one. First thing I'm going to do is double tap on the clip to enter the effects adjustment menu. Here you can adjust the frame and fit speed, add stabilization, adjust the audio, and of course adjust the colors, which is what I am mostly going to do in this video. You can either start from scratch by adding this original layer and adjust manually the brightness, contrast, saturation, and colors, or you can select one of the built-in presets that LumaFusion offers. Then you can also add costume LUTs or you can select one of the built-in ones that LumaFusion offers. Then you can add some mask effects, blur effects, shape effects, key effects. And also you can create your own costume presets to use for future projects. I'm going to delete everything. And the first thing that I'm going to do with this clip is convert the Apple Log footage to Rec. 709. And the easiest way to do this in LumaFusion is with a conversion LUT. And luckily for us, LumaFusion provides such a LUT completely for free. It's built into LumaFusion. It's called ProLost Apple Log Rec. 709. And if I'm going to add this LUT, as you can see, it basically converts my flat looking Apple Log footage to Rec. 709. You can leave this clip as is like this, or you can do further adjustments. I think I am going to adjust the exposure and white balance and also saturation of this clip. And to do so, I'm going to go to this color icon in here and select the original layer because I want to have full manual control over what I am doing when it comes to exposure, contrast, saturation and color adjustments. But I am going to put this layer before the conversion LUT because I want to work in the widest color space possible. If you're going to put this layer after the conversion LUT, you're going to work in a narrow Rec. 709 color space. But if it's before the conversion LUT, you are going to be in a wider Apple Log color space, which is much better when it comes to adjusting exposure, colors, uh, saturation, and so on. Let me actually show you a real world example of the difference it makes. So I'm going to put my contrast to like 100% just to exaggerate the difference and pay close attention to the highlights on the building. This is how it looks like when the adjustment is before the conversion LUT. And now here is how it looks like after. As you can see, the highlights are basically clipped now, but when it's before, you can still see some information in the highlights. Again, this is after and this is before. Regardless, let me reset this and I'm going to adjust the exposure and contrast of the shot. And my preferred way to do it in LumaFusion is with the levels slider in here, which basically behaves the same way as curves in DaVinci Resolve, Final Cut Pro, Premiere Pro and so on. You basically have your black point here on the left, then you have your white point on the right, and then you have your midpoint, basically the midtones in the middle and between the midtones you have these two points in here to adjust how far away the black point is from the white point if you want to increase the contrast or basically decrease the contrast. So if they are very far away from each other the contrast as you can see is very aggressive and if they are very close to each other the contrast is quite soft which is honestly what I prefer with my shots. But let me reset this and start from scratch. The first thing that I always like to do is compress my highlights. Then I'm also going to slightly reduce the black point in here and then adjust the pivot basically of the mitons until I'm happy. Then maybe come back to the black point increase the white point here and basically play around with this until I am happy. Let me go back a bit. I think something like this looks fantastic. This is the before and after, before and after. As you can see, I basically increased the contrast and slightly reduced the exposure of the shot. All right, next, I think I'm going to adjust the white balance. And to do that, I'm going to add another 
original layer because I want to keep all the adjustments on a separate layer in case if I want to come back to it later on so I won't get uh, confused. And again, I'm gonna put this layer before the conversion LUT. I'm gonna scroll down here and I think because this image is slightly warm, I'm going to increase the blue to compensate for the yellow. But I'm gonna put it around, yeah, something like this looks good. And also it's a bit red in here. So I'm gonna decrease the red as well. Leave it about here. It's a very minor difference, but if I'm gonna go here and do the before and after, before and after, as you can see, it makes a huge difference, especially if you look at the white building. Before it was a bit warm and yellow, and now it looks much more color balanced. All right, I think I'm also going to add some saturation. And again, to do that, I'm going to add another layer, put it before the conversion LUT, and scroll down here and basically increase the saturation until I'm happy, which is about 1.25, I think looks good. And honestly, you can use this shot already as is. I mean, if you're going to post this to like Instagram, TikTok, you're going to be ahead of the competition of people who shoot on an iPhone because not a lot of people would shoot in Apple Log and do color grading and LumaFusion on the iPhone. So if you're gonna do something like this, you're gonna get much better results than like 90% of the competition, like I said. But if you wanna take it to the next level, first thing you can add a mask, like a vignette, for example, which I am going to do. Let me put it around here and select one of the vignette presets. I think this one looks good, but it's a bit too intense. Let's play around with intensity. Yeah, I think something like this looks good. A bit more. Let's do 0 0.05. Yeah, just a bit of a vignette, maybe 0 .0, 0 0.1. Just a slight vignette, it's barely noticeable, but it makes the building pop a bit more from the background. This is the before and after, before and after. And finally, you can also add one of the creative LUTs in LumaFusion, maybe something like this or like, like this or like this. Or what I am going to do is actually select one of my costume LUTs that are actually designed for the Action 5 Pro and Pocket 3, but because these are creative LUTs, they should work perfectly fine on the iPhone as well. If you wanna check out these LUTs, I'm going to leave a link for them down below. And here is how they look. This is, oh, sorry. So this is vintage and you can also adjust the intensity in here. Vintage looks quite nice. Then this is vintage too, which also looks quite nice. Then, there's also Oasis, basically teal and orange, then Oasis 2, then there is Jungle, and then there is also Jungle 2. I think for this shot, I'm gonna use the Oasis LUT, teal and orange, classic look, looks fantastic in my opinion, but I'm not going to use this at 100% intensity. These LUTs are designed to be used at about 40 to 70% intensity, depending on the shot. And for this one, I think I'm gonna leave it yeah, somewhere around here, 0 0.6 looks good. But now it's a bit dark, so I'm gonna come back to my original exposure adjustment and slightly increase the midpoint in here to about something like this. Let's do a before and after. Still looks fantastic. Maybe slightly increase the intensity of the LUT as well. Let's do 0 0.55. And honestly, I think I'm pretty much done with this clip. Of course, I can add more and more layers, but honestly, I think the whole point of using an iPhone is to keep it as simple as possible. And honestly, the results here are fantastic. Let me show you exactly what I've done to this clip from start to finish. So first of all, I converted my Apple Log footage to Rec. 709 with the built-in LUT. Then I adjusted the contrast and exposure. Then I adjusted the white balance. Then I added some saturation. Then I added some vignette, and finally, I added my own costume LUT to create a slight teal and orange look. All right, now let's move on to the next shot, and to keep it a bit easier, I'm just going to copy the effects from the first clip to the next one. To do it, you can select the clip you want to copy the effects from, then click this button in here and click copy. And then you're gonna go to the clip you want to paste the effects to. Go inside here, select this and paste the attributes. 
First thing I'm going to do is delete the creative LUT, close the vignette, and here I have to do some adjustments. First thing I'm going to do is fix the exposure. It's a bit dark, so I'm going to increase the brightness here to about something like this. Increase the white point and slightly increase the contrast. Decrease the white point. Play with the black here. I don't want to make it too strong. Maybe something like this. Let's see. Before and after. Before and after. Slightly darker. Let's make it 0 0.04. Come on. Something like this. Before and after. Before and after. Next, I'm going to fix the white balance. This one is a bit too yellow. So I'm going to increase the blue to compensate. I'm going to put it around here. I am eyeballing everything. If it looks good on the iPhone screen because it's color accurate, then I'm good to go, in my personal opinion at least. And also, I'm slightly going to decrease the red to about here. Yeah, this now looks much more color accurate. This is the before and after. Actually, I can reduce the magenta in here. Not magenta, the teal to about here. Now it looks a bit better. Before and after, before and after. Honestly, it looks very good. I'm actually quite surprised on how well these little sliders work in LumaFusion. But regardless, the next thing I'm going to do is adjust the saturation. I'm going to leave it at 1.2 here. Looks great. Before and after, before and after. And I'm going to enable the vignette. And finally, to finish it off, I'm going to select one of my creative LUTs. This is vintage. Kind of looks okay. But I think for this one, let me try the jungle. Yeah, jungle looks fantastic. Let's see how it looks with less intensity. So jungle one, jungle two. Yeah, I'm gonna go with jungle two. Put it around here, 0 0.7 I would say. And I'm gonna come back to my exposure layer and slightly increase the exposure here. It's a bit too dark for me and play around with the contrast. Something like this. Let me play it back one sec. Yeah, it looks great. This is how it looks before the LUT, after the LUT, before the LUT, after the LUT. All right, let's move on to the next shot, which I shot in low light. I'm going to copy the effects from this clip. Click here, copy, select this clip. Go inside, click here, paste attributes, disable the, delete the LUT, sorry, disable the vignette. And then I'm going to adjust the exposure here just slightly. Something, let me see. Yeah, something like this, just a minor tweak. Maybe I can increase the white point a little bit here. Next, I'm going to go to my white balance layer. Decrease the yellow here to about something like this. Play around with this in here. Yeah, I'm happy with this. This is before and after. I mean, it fixes the white balance quite well in here. Right next, saturation. I'm going to desaturate this a little bit because I think with this shot, it's going to work the best when it looks quite desaturated and moody, basically. I'm going to enable my vignette layer and finally i'm going to finish it off with a lot i think one of the vintage ones yeah would work the best this is vintage one and now this is vintage two i think i'm gonna go with vintage one let's see the intensity somewhere around here looks fantastic zero this was 0 0.55 and maybe come back to my exposure layer and slightly increase the mitons here and maybe slightly increase the white point let me see before and after yeah something like this Looks fantastic. This is before and after, before and after the creative lot. All right, and this is the final shot. I'm gonna copy the effects from this shot now because the environment is more or less the same. Click copy, go inside here. You pretty much get the workflow. Then I'm gonna paste attributes delete this light in here, disable the vignette, readjust the exposure, reset this, something like this looks good, then go to my white balance, once you get the hang of it, it's not that difficult honestly, yeah, I think something like this looks good, this is the before and after, 
the white balance adjustment and this is the before and after the exposure adjustment saturation i'm going to leave as is vignette i am going to enable and finally let's select one of the creative LUTs. vintage i don't know why it's doing this all the time honestly vintage looks nice let's see vintage 2 no vintage 2 doesn't work here this also looks nice oasis let me see oasis 2 also looks great and then jungle doesn't work in here in my opinion and jungle 2 also doesn't really work i think i'm gonna go to oasis but i am going to decrease the intensity to about 0.6 i would say and decrease the contrast it's a bit too strong for me let's just fade out the blacks something like this looks great <music> I think I'm pretty much done for today and honestly I'm quite impressed of how easy it is to achieve somewhat good color grading results in LumaFusion. Of course it's not as good as with DaVinci Resolve, Final Cut Pro or Premiere Pro but considering you are color grading on an iPhone with a software that costs only like 20 or 30 dollars I think the results are actually quite fantastic. Anyhow, don't forget to check out my DJI Action 5 Pro and Pocket 3 LUTs down below. These LUTs, like I said, will work with pretty much any camera because they are creative LUTs. And of course, if you have any questions, tips or comments, let me know down below as well. And I guess I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.